Okay, you can go ahead. Hello, everyone. I'm going to be talking about um, like page, your like page, and um, so first things first, does anyone have any questions about like pages that I can address? Do you all have a like page already or do you not have one yet? I don't have one and don't know how to get one. Okay. okay. I'm technically stupid. No, you're technically not. challenged. Challenged. That's it. Technologically challenged. Hello. Well, I'll go through how to make one, um, and then if you guys don't have one, so I'm going to share my screen. Can you all see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So on Facebook, you're going to go to, well, this is my like page. Um, here we go. Okay, so you're going to go to this little arrow here, and then you click create page. And then it gives you all the categories that you can choose from. I did, um, when I did mine, I think I did it under um, public figure, and then I just typed it as a public and wellness person. But I know a lot of people do it under a local business, and then some people do it under brand. And I've seen some people that actually say coach, and I don't know what they clicked under to get that. Um, Michelle, what is yours classified? Mine, mine is health and fitness, but I don't remember which one it was under. Yeah. I know that, I know they've changed it, so some of the stuff that people had before you can't get. Right. Um. But let me just throw something in here. If you put it under public figure, um, down the road, if you decide to do like that Facebook Live or whatever, you have access to that, where the rest of them don't. Okay. So. Um, so then that's it. You'll just go through the process here. I don't want to, I don't know if I started, is it going to like tap me? <laughs> I don't want another one. One's enough. <laughs> um, but so you'll go through and then you'll type in. So yeah, here you choose the category. I did. Oh, here's coach. So that must be oh, hey, okay, there you go. So that's under public figure. So then you'll type out whatever you want your um, page to be. I know a girl whose last name starts with W and her page is called Wellness with Woodard. That's her last name. Um, my page is just Coach Morgan B. And I wanted it to be Morgan B. Because that's what all my friends call me. But I, I put Morgan and everything else says Morgie. So, but you can put, um, you know, you can put whatever you want to go by. Some people have like really catchy, like um, I know that Michelle, Michelle um, B has the like Mamacita something, and then um, Amy has the domestically fit Amy, which is super cute. So if you have that, you'll just put that in there. Um, so I'm gonna get out of this, go back to my page. So once your page is created, um, the first thing that I did is kind of dress it up. So I um, focused on making like a cover photo that really talked or really showed a, like kind of what I'm about. Um, I love yoga and uh, I'm going to be a yoga instructor soon. Um, and so I put some of these poses in there. Um, I love my dog. She's my little baby. So I put her in there. This is my favorite um, quote about fitness because a lot of people expect change and then they're like, oh, well, I, 
I still go out to eat like this many times and I, oh, I haven't worked out. Well, you're not going to change if you don't change what you're doing. So that's why I put that there. But um, a lot of coaches put their pictures of their families, their kids, um, things like that. So then you can customize it to fit you. Um, I also have a niche that's kind of like um, PCOS related, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. So I um, post on my page a lot about PCOS. Um, so once you find your niche, you can start posting about that on yours. I try to keep the like actual beach body related. Like I don't put like on sale is 21 day fix, buy it today. Like you want it to just show you using the products in a non salesy way. So like I'm doing a three day refresh right now. So I have a picture of my meals and just talking about doing the three day refresh. Um, all of my, like I do do some Shapeology selfies and I do do um, like with my recovery shake because I always say like, I love this and I'll like kiss it or whatever, but it's not, again, it's not like a very salesy approach to it. It's just me being me, which is the biggest thing on your like page. You just really want your personality to shine through. Um, I love coffee. So I do a lot of coffee stuff. Um, just black coffee is what I drink. So it's still healthy ish. Um, so I put a lot about coffee on my page too. Um, so as far as creating the page, I know that I didn't get very far into it, but I promise it will walk you through. Do you have any questions, Sherry, about the creating the page part? I think I can handle that. If not, I know where to find you. Okay, yeah. Well, or someone who might be able to explain it even better. <laughs> and Sherry, once you're actually in this page, it walks you through how to put the picture up there. Because you see that little camera icon up here on the um, Yeah, right yeah. there. It, that's how you add your photo or change it. Um, it but it, it has all that on there when it's your page that you're looking at. It has all that stuff that you can, you know, edit it and all that kind of stuff that you don't see looking at hers. Right, it walks from this side. Okay. And it, it I'm, to do it. I'm not real creative, but I'll figure something out. But you can always Zoom with me while you're doing it, and I can help you, and you can do, like, the screen share or whatever, and, um, you know, if you need help. Okay. I used um, the website PicMonkey to make this. It's just monkey.com and it um, enables you to make cover photos on the, I can actually, I'll go to the So, collage. Yeah, I haven't used this. Okay, so, well, I guess. So you will be able to just pull pictures from your computer. So just save pictures of yourself or quote you like or whatever to your computer. And then you'll do open photos and then you'll save. Once you click on them, they'll all show up right here. And so then you just go down to layout and it actually has one that's called FB cover, which is Facebook cover. So you'll just click that and then you can pick how many pictures you want to put on. And then you just drag them onto there, um, just like that. And then you'll do it with your own pictures. And then once you save it, then it'll be in your photo folder. Um, you can name it. And then when you go on to your Facebook and click Change Cover, you just upload it right on there, and it'll show up just like that. So this, this website is really easy to use. It's very user friendly. Um, when it was Pick Monkey? Yeah. P I C M O N K E Y dot com. I'm sure there are other ones. I haven't 
this is just the one that I use. Yeah, I think most people use PicMonkey because it's the easiest. It's the easiest. Um, so, any questions so far? So, once you do this, you want to post something in your news feed that says something that tells people to like the page or yep when you go through your setup actually i believe that it'll be one of the steps in the setup but it'll say like invite friends to like this page so i can click that right now on mine um but i've already invited everyone that i'm friends with um besides coaches so um um so you'll just go through just like this and you can hand select the people you want to invite or you can just do invite all. It'll be an option when you are setting up your page. Um, so yeah, you'll just go through just like I'm going through right now. And um, Greg, I don't know, are you in, you're in, you're in the engage, team engage group. Do so you know who Greg Armfield is? Um, but he had told us that we shouldn't like each other's like pages, which makes sense because then our friends are seeing each other's, like we, we don't want our friends to become their customers, basically. Yeah, because if, if, if we want, if say I run an ad, Sherry, and you have liked my like page, anybody you are friends with will see my ad. So, that, so any good or bad? That's bad. Because they're your potential customers, but if they see my ads, they might come to me and order from me or whatever, and I won't know that they're your friends. Um, so you don't want them to see my stuff. So you need to unlike my page if you've liked it. Okay. I don't know if I have or not. I'll, I'll have to look later. As long as you're not on her like page every day, liking every post you make, it probably won't even show up to your friends. But yeah, so that's just the point of that. Um, so yeah, you'll have an option. You'll invite friends to like this page, and you'll just invite all your friends. And then once you um, have those people watching you, you want to post on average three to five times a day. And everyone always looks at me like I have success when I say that, but it really matters because as soon as I started posting three to five times a day on social media, my income like doubled. It really did. Um, so it's important. I usually do like I'm on a three day refresh right now, so my posts are not normal. Um, but I usually do a breakfast picture because I am a huge foodie also. Um, so if, whether it's Shakeology or if it's eggs and whatever, I'll do like a breakfast picture. And if it's not Shakeology, I'll do like the recipe or if it's Shakeology, I'll share like what I've blended into my shake that day. So you want to make sure that each one of your posts on your life page has some sort of value, a recipe, a tip, advice, um, an exercise type challenge or something just so that there, it's worth reading. It's not just a picture that says, like, here's my breakfast. I'll, like, elaborate on it, talk about the recipe, talk about clean eating is a big thing for me. I'm also gluten and dairy free, so I talk about that a lot. I do a lot of gluten free recipes and things like that. Um, so um, I do videos also, so demonstrating how to do um, different and things like that I'll post on my page. I do a lot of yoga poses, videos of yoga poses, but um, you'll just need to find what works for you. And I upload all of these from my phone, so I don't have like a special camera or anything. I just film with my phone and use the Facebook app. It's really easy. So um, any questions about content? Or what you'll post? I don't know how you find time to do all this. It's real quick. If you take a quick picture of, say, like her breakfast, 
she takes a quick picture and the message that there's you use the, the messenger app Morgan is that how you do it so you got the, you can do the messenger app and you know you just go in there you hit click post and you're good to go I mean it's just real quick yeah I, I can't like I don't know it might be a generation thing <laughs> Because for me, like, this stuff doesn't take long. And I am on Facebook or on Instagram all day long anyway. So to me, it's, like, just part of my day. Like, I wake up, I take a picture, I talk about it. It's just, I don't know. That's just what I do. Um, Did you just call me old? No. I'm, <laughs> I'm calling me just uh, a <laughs> millennial. With my phone always in my face like this, and I know it's true, but that's just—it's true. I always have my phone in my face. Um, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. There are apps that you can use. I don't use them because, like I said, I'm always on my phone. But people use them where they can like schedule their posts out for the whole week, and they don't even have to like look at their phone. It, it just <laughs> automatically goes through. I think one's called Buffer. One's called Hootsuite, if it still exists. And then actually in the um, Facebook page app, they have a way to schedule messages too, but I have never used it because I just get on and do it. Um, but I'm going to get out of some of these. Like my vacations aren't normally there. I'm trying to find one black Okay, so this, this is a perfect example of one of my posts. So I'll do, um, I talk about my workout, and then I talk about my shake, and I share a recipe, and this is what I made for my shake. So I just, I just so see, that's, like, really short. It took me, like, three seconds to type, and then I just um, attached the picture. I took the pictures right after I worked out, sweaty selfie, and then right before I drank my shake. And there it is. And three to five times is like you could do your breakfast or like this. So since I post my sweaty healthy and my breakfast in one picture, that's like one post for the day. So usually I'll just do two that day now. But when I was starting out, I really stuck to the three to five. Um, so then I bought this tea at Target, and I was super excited about it. So then obviously the next day I made this Shapeology. So I talked about that. I just took the picture literally when I got into my car. You can see the Target bag in the bottom there. I just snatched the picture before I started driving. So, I mean, it really doesn't take up a lot of time. And, and one of my favorite um, personal development books talks about how, like, making small little um, habits each day, like doing a small task that takes like hardly any time, but repeating it over and over again every day makes such a huge difference in your business. And it is 100% true. So just find five minutes to post a picture three times a day, and I promise it'll be worth it. Um, so here's my lunch. I just posted what my lunch was. It's, and it's funny because my food posts get the most attention, which cracks me up because I wouldn't think that that many people would want to see pictures of food. But on Instagram, pictures of my lunch and breakfast get like 80 likes and pictures of like workouts get like 40. So people just love food. So if you like food and you like cooking, I highly recommend posting about your food. Um, so yeah, energize. <laughs> I love that stuff. Me too. It's so good, right? Um, so yeah, just sharing passions through pictures. Um, so yeah, any other questions? I can definitely. Um, I know that Amy uses Buffer, so we can get her to talk about that. I think Corey also uses it. So if you're looking for a way to schedule your posts out, um, they can talk to you more about that for sure. Any other questions about like pages? Okay. 
So another topic on there was groups. Um, do any of you guys have your own groups right now? Your own um, like accountability groups, or are you sharing? Like, are you, where are you adding your customers when you get customers? Sherry doesn't have a group. She'll add them to mine until she gets enough. Um, but I think everybody else has their groups that are on here. Yeah, me. Yeah, I have one. Sherry, yeah. Uh, okay, so you guys already know how to run the accountability group. This is a challenge group. You understand the difference. You know how to add people in and what to talk about. Are your accountability groups good? Like, are people engaged? Are they talking to you? And are they posting every day? Or how is it going? This was my first one, so it's basically full of like family and all of that right now and not very many other people. Um, I just listened to the Engage call from Wednesday and that's helped me out quite a bit. And I think I was trying to do a little bit too much with that group to start off with, I think. And that was part of my problem. I felt like I put a lot of work in it and wasn't getting a lot out. So um, I'm working on that this week to kind of revamp that and kind of make it a little better and I just learned about boosting stuff on our last thing so I'm going to try to start doing that. Okay. Um, so Caitlin and I are like a very strange coach team. Um, most coaches don't operate the way that we do um, but Caitlin and I do everything together. We run a free group together we run our accountability group together. So this is our accountability group. And it is very active. Um, it's actually really exciting. So, so we run little mini challenges that are I'm going to share with you guys. Um, one thing that we do weekly is Oops, she froze. Am I still going? Yeah, you're going now. Okay, grocery challenge. People really enjoy the things they like unload all their groceries. They they take a picture and they um, post and say, oh, "Ignore that like box of rice krispie treats. That's for my kids." A good way to keep them. <laughs> Um, am I still coming through? Am I like messing up? You're a little choppy at times, but go ahead. Um, and then everyone always posts daily, um, when they do their workout too. And, um, we just engage on each one of those posts. People ask questions. Um, we also do a transformation competition where where people will post their pictures, and it's an event created through our group, and it's just for our challengers. The Shakeology is just anyone signed up under us um, as a customer on TeamBeachBody.com to be in the. Um, and so what they do is they post their picture pictures on day thirty. And we here vote for who has the best transformation, um, and then that person wins a prize. And we, we usually do like um, last time we did a copy of Fixate. The time before that we did um, mini, a tub of vegan. So they're not expensive, things. and usually Caitlin and I will even split the dollars person to just send them a little gift. And people like getting gifts. Big prizes. Um, we also did an event for a three day refresh. So that was a big thing when the three day refresh promo. We always do that. We do a group refresh and we can have it in time. Um, so that's a way that we can just a three day refresh challenge pass. And that works really well for us too because people want to do a group and they like seeing us like Caitlin and I do it with them um, so that is our our 
three group, we just finished an exercise. You're froze again, Morgan. Can you guys hear me? Did any of the, anything that I said work just now? No. Did stuff about the transformation challenge go through? through um, your bits and parts, bits and pieces of it. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Okay. Well, basically, we run little mini challenges in our in our accountability group. Um, it's like and it is for anyone who has signed up under us on Team Beach Body. They don't necessarily have to be a paying customer. It's just that they have cited us as their coach, and so we invite them into that group. We post when we work out. We do the mini challenges, like the transformation challenge, where they post their before picture on day one and their after picture on day thirty. People get really motivated by that also, and they really want to win, so they really get competitive with it. It's fun. Um, and they feel safe because they know that it's a private group, and they know everyone in the group, even though there's like 100 some people in there, not everyone's active. But they have about 40 to 50 people that are active every day, which is huge. Um, and then I said that we also do a three-day refresh challenge where we all do a three-day refresh at the same time at the end of the month when it's on promo. And it really helps to get people to buy the challenge pack because they want to be able to do it with us. So we usually plan it at the end of the month um, so that they have the whole month to buy it. And it forces them to get it. Like in August, it was a team cup and it was three-day refresh. So we were like really pushing that. Like, Everyone, we're going to do a three-day refresh on the 31st. You have to get it before then. Like you're going to miss out on this great group bonding experience. You know, we just like talked it up and it was fun. So um, any questions about our accountability group? Did you hear? I don't know what all you heard, but hopefully that little recap got you back to me. And Sherry, you do it the same way, like when you create, like you go in and do the create the like page, you can create a group as well the same way. And it, it works about the same way, doing the uh, group photo and all that. And it walks through it, so. Okay, great. So I will give it a try. Yeah, you create your like page and then, um you know, we can all check it out. I know a lot of people post and team just believe like their links so that people can click on it and kind of look and see what's going on and just give them some feedback. Um, then you all know about the challenge group. We do it as a team. So that's a separate group um, that you put people in that drink Shapeology and have a challenge pack. Um, we try to keep our accountability group a little bit less fun and less prizes than that, so that people want to be in that one. Um, but we like to keep our accountability group fun still, too. I know Corey doesn't necessarily like, <laughs> he's like, try to keep it bland. We're like, we can't. But, um, but it's fun, and I think that it shows our customers that we you know, really care about them and not just them buying things. And they end up buying things eventually after they trust you and once they're in all the activities and stuff. So and they see other people doing programs, they want to do them, and other people drinking Shapeology, they want to drink it. So it works. It works out for us. Everybody does things differently, though. You really just need to find out what works for you and then run with it. And anyone can follow me on Instagram if you want to see pictures of my food and like what I post three five times a day of. But for some reason, works. I've gotten more customers from Instagram than I have gotten from my like page. Um, and that's kind of rare too. I think um, most people don't do that. And I don't know why. I'm just I don't know. I'm just 
you can, like I said, you can look on there. And if you have any questions for me about like why I posted something or how I posted something or how I found a recipe or how I found a picture, just let me know in a message or on Team Just Believe or however you want to get in touch with me. Okay. Anyone have any questions? I got a lot to do. Yeah. It, I mean, at first it is super overwhelming. I was very hesitant to make a like page because I felt like I'm not popular enough or I'm not famous. Like I shouldn't have a like page if that's for like actresses and like businesses. And I just felt like it was way over my head. But it actually is nice because then you don't have to post everything on your personal page. Um, I felt more awkward posting on my personal page because those people didn't choose to go on, like they didn't choose to like your page, they're just your friend, maybe my girl, whoever it is, like they didn't choose to see me in workout clothes all right. the time. But on the like page, people act well, one thing is, like, you're really, really fit, so your pictures look great and all that, and I got a long way to go, so I'm very self-conscious about posting pictures of me because I don't feel like I'm a representation of the product because I'm not there yet. Do you have before pictures from, like, do you have pictures from before right now, or is, are you just starting a program right now? I have pictures from before. I've been doing it for like eight weeks. Okay. But my pictures haven't changed. I'm stuck in a rut. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, when I first started, I was not fit. <laughs> and my pictures were not cute. And it was really hard to post them. It was really hard to be, like, vulnerable, for sure. Um... And to me, I still have goals, and I still have more to do. So even when I, I mean, I see my pictures now, and obviously it's a huge difference. I've lost 30 pounds. Like, there's a huge difference from when I first started. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, um, but I'm still like, oh, I have some work to do, and I still have goals, and I still have things that I want to work on. But um, it's definitely easier to post pictures now because I have that huge change. I, I like posting my first before picture because it's like, wow, I can't believe I used to look like that. And look at me now. <laughs> and like Michelle's is awesome too. I mean, her, her transformation is huge. Right. Um, but also I think that a lot of um, coaches talk about just their start and their struggle. And I think that people really respond well to that. So that's definitely something that you could talk about you can talk about how you are kind of in a rut right now and you're experimenting with a program and you're experimenting with shakeology and and you feel more energy but your like pictures aren't reflecting what you you know and just sharing that it's taking longer than you thought it would even is okay i think because it's real you know and people respond to that I mean, obviously, you don't want to say, like, oh, beach body sucks, it's not working, but in a way that makes it sound like, you know, it's a, it's a process, and it's hard. It's hard for everyone. I mean, it's hard for, it was hard for me, too. It was very hard. My first program was T25, and it was tough. Yeah, I started that and gave it up and went with the 21-day fix, and I really like it. And I'm doing my workouts. I just have a nutrition problem because I apparently don't like healthy food. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not. I'm going to be like, this is my like, little tough love spiel because I am a huge foodie. So here it comes. You're not going to see results until you clean up your eating. Straight I know, and I've got three boys in the house that can eat as many carbs as you can put in front of them. And they never gain an ounce. I have um, my like PCOS is a metabolic disorder, so I cannot ever eat anything remotely not good for you, or I gain like 20 pounds. <laughs> so I totally can really I understand. <laughs> um, but yeah, you just got to do it. It's worth it. It really is. You feel so much better. 
and once you start getting those results, it just drives you to keep going with it. So yeah, just really focus on that eating plan. Learn to love vegetables. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. Put them in your Shakeology. Yeah. I put like three greens of spinach in my Shakeology so I can get now, my I'm a big salad eater. I'll eat salad uh, for lunch every day or and supplement dinner, my meat, my protein with salad. I have no trouble with gr salad greens. It's just some other green stuff that I do. <laughs> Dressing on your salad, or what do you put on your salad? Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, no. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> I do dip my fork, but it, you know, I'm I'm dipping it in the wrong thing. Got to the ranch dressing away. <laughs> I was addicted to ranch. I used to drink it like literally. Yeah, I'm a big ranch person, but I can't have the dairy, so I can't make it with Greek yogurt like. Um, some of the recipes I found. So I'm going to have to find an alternative. I'll send you a recipe. I have one. It's not dairy? Yeah, I don't need dairy. I don't need dairy or gluten. So. That would be great because that's my, my biggest calorie problem, I think. Definitely. Ranch is not good. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I love food and I love talking about food. So anyway. <laughs> Well, I appreciate the tips. Groups and like pages. Do you guys have any questions? I'm so off topic and terrible public speaker. So. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. Well, if you do, let me know. Okay. I do have one thing to add because I know, I think most of y'all know, but I know Sherry doesn't. I'm going to share my screen. Um, and it's the... Uh, there we go. Okay, come on now. Okay, it's the um, coaching codes. I know most of y'all know about it. Um, can y'all see my screen? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, that's not the coaching codes. This is where most of us get our, um, you know how I talk about direct links, Sherry? Yes, ma'am. I can't see y'all, so I don't know what I'm seeing. But anyway, um, and like that link I gave you to give that lady, mm -hmm. that's where I got it from. It's coachingcodes.com. You, well, you can see it right here. And if you scroll down, it has like um, all the fitness programs you can look by you know the person you can open it up and it gives you like all their programs but what you do is you go down to this box right here um, right here's the top of the page you just scroll down a little bit and it's right here where all these are you're going to sit there and type in your coach number your ID number and then click okay. and you click update and then every single one of these links if you see down here at the, um, it put my coach ID at the end of it. And this is what you would copy. You know, um, I usually send them to my website, but if you don't have a website, then you go here. I just copy that and then paste it in the message or the email or whatever you're sending them. And that way it goes directly to your website, um, the Beachbody website. Or, okay. Or, or. Um, but it has, you know, all the programs. It has, um, like somebody wants to sign up for the free membership or the club membership. And this is also where I got that link from, Become a Coach and gave you. And it automatically, once you put your, um, you don't have to worry about the screen name or the domain or any of that. Just put in your coach number. And then every single one of these things down here will have your coach ID. And see, here's the one with um, nutrition and supplements, the Shakeology's in here. And I usually just give them the uh, one that has them all on it instead of just the individual. There's a three-day refresh, um, the P90X supplements, and all that kind of stuff is right there. Um, okay. 
Now, there's another one I found, and I know some of y'all, I don't know if any, um, I know a few people might know about this, but it's also, you know how Beachbody comes out with their blog articles? Um, and I know some of us will copy the link so people can read the blog article. Um, you can also put your coach ID in that too. So if you go to coacharticlelinks.com, um, you can do the same thing. You can put your coach ID number in there. And then all these articles, there's recipes, um, there's nutrition tip links. What else they got down here? Um, fitness tip links. But like over here, you know, this is the Beach Body blog. Um, I just, you know, let's see, we'll just click on a recipe. And you see here at the end, if you look in my, well, if you look in my search bar right here, um, you can actually take that, if y'all can see at the end of this, where it says the question mark, referring ref ID, you can just save that in a, 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 you know, in your notes or something somewhere so you don't always have to, but you can copy that and add that to the end of this article link and then that that automatically puts it let me open another one so when I put it in here I can go to it and if you send it to somebody is it gonna do it Let's see. go so like if you send it to somebody, it has your coach ID on the end of the article. So if there's anything in here, I know some of them have like um, the Shakeology recipes. It'll have to order Shakeology or um, to order the, let me see if it has it in this one. But it'll have a link that you can go to to order it's not in this one. Maybe it's right there. Okay, there we go. So you can put your ID on it. So what it does, see it went to this website. So if I would have had my coach ID on the end of that one, it would have went to my Shakeology website. Okay. That way if somebody that, you know, doesn't have a coach already and they went to that and said, oh, well, I think I'll go order it, and then they buy it, they would be buying it from me. So just keep that in mind if y'all um, ever like repost these blog articles that Beachbody puts out. Okay. Okay. So did you understand that? Did you get all yeah, that? Yeah. Is, is that something that you could also put on your like like page or? Yeah, if you copy any of the, and that's what I do. Sometimes I will, Beachbody will come out with a, a, a good article that I want to share, and I'll copy the link and put on my like page. Um, so if you stick your coach ID on the end of it, um, and then if anybody clicks on it and they decide to buy anything, then it goes to you. Okay. So, you know, it, it's just another way to, you know, possibly get customers. And then, like, if I did post something about 21 Day Fix being on sale on my like page, I would put the link to the 21 Day Fix with my coach ID on it. You know, I'd do the little spill, and at the end, I was like, for more information, you can click here kind of thing. But it's, okay. it's just an extra way to get people to actually go to yours. Because if you just tell somebody to go to their website and order, sometimes they end up on Beachbody, not Team Beachbody. And then that doesn't go to you. Okay. So, all right, that's all I had on that. If someone accidentally orders not through you, but they wanted to order through you or you had been talking to them, it's super easy to just um, call customer service and say, my customer accidentally ordered the wrong way. And then all you have to do is give them your customer's email address and the order number, which you can get from your customer, and they will credit it to you, and you'll get commission and everything. So don't freak out if someone acts.
my late orders the wrong way because it happens all the time to me and I because I know we use computers, so I probably should. <laughs> um, but I just call, and then it gets switched to me, and it's all good. So now I do there. If they put it on payment plans, though, they say it won't switch over. So yeah, if you put it, if they put it on payment plans, they will switch the order over. Like they will make them your customer, but you don't get commission. Yeah. Yeah. And then if they order from Amazon, you don't get that either. Right. So. Okay, any last minute questions about social media or groups or what to put in your accountability group versus a uh, free group versus a challenge group? Just taking it all in right now. Yeah, it's super overwhelming. Just take it one step at a time. And like, it seems like you and M Michelle, like she's gonna be right there with you, kind of how Caitlin is for me. Like we do all of our groups together. So I just, like when I was first a coach, I, I had like two people and she had like a hundred and my two were just in with her a hundred and you know, it grows and you learn as you watch them and that's how you'll do it. It just takes, you know, just take it one day at a time. Yeah, having Michelle has been great because she's like, she can answer all the questions. She, she knows what she's doing. Yeah, really? <laughs> well, you're faking it real good. I can fake it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I mean, you're yeah. She's you're helping me a bunch. It's making it. Um, I would have probably quit by now. So, well, when I first started, that's when we had all that self-paced training was not self-paced, and they had all this training going on at one time. And you know, just everything, and I'm like, how am I supposed to keep up with this? It's so overwhelming. But you just have to take a step back and do one thing at a time, because there, that training is always going to be there. It's not a one-time thing. Um, we have it every month. Um, so, well, now that I think most of it's all self-paced now, so it's there when you need it. So you need to take it one step at a time. Get the little things out of the way, like your like page. Um, okay. and you want to go ahead and do your group page, so it's there. Um, and those are then that's two things you don't have to ever you don't have to worry about. Okay. And yeah, just you know, make your to do list, and then if it's something that's taking a little bit longer, then maybe put it on pause and go do something that you know you can get done real quick, and it makes you feel like you're getting something accomplished. Sounds good. Okay, anybody got anything else they want to ask or add or anything? No? Okay, well, I'm going to stop recording, and um, y'all have a good night. <laughs>